All right, but we have a um, an awesome guest, Christy Engel. She is a teacher here at Drums Etc. She plays in all sorts of bands. She's got some pretty awesome drums. I hope we get into that because I just her taste in drums is in, impeccable. I gotta say, I personally would buy ev- almost everything she. Does. I actually did buy one of her old drum sets. Yeah, I, I own one of Christy's. It's true. I, actually, I own Christie's first drum set. I own it. It's a Matrix. You're right. Voyager. There you go. You always say. I always say Q Matrix series. Q series. The Voyager, uh, and it just upsets Adam. It it's upsets a Voyager. Me. It's details. It's a little bop set, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's just a, a nice little kind of uh, throw around. Yeah, kit. and I like it. And uh, yeah, I hope we get into that because the drum set she plays now is just so cool. So cool. But uh, no, great teacher. Before she gets on here, we can just talk a little bit about how awesome she is. She's got a whole bunch of students. Um, we'll get into how she started out teaching and everything. She's doing a lot of good at the shop. She's a lot of fun to hang around with. And uh, if you got anything else to say, we can just bring her on. Let's bring her on. I'm interested in hearing what she has to say. All right. Great. Let's get into it. Welcome to Thank Drum you. Key. Thank you. You're our nice first guest. I know. The first guest, the practice guest. I... No, this is where you say it's a huge honor. It's a huge honor and to be here. I love being at the drum store. The practice guest. I love being at the drum store. This is one of my favorite places in the world. I'm happy to be here. Why is it one of your favorite places in the world? Um, It's just, well, because I love drums. And because sure. you guys are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Um, Always a big help. And it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun place. It is a really fun It's a fun place. place. Before I uh, worked at the shop, I very much idolized it like, like a candy store like like a yeah. fun road trip i mean it was only a half hour from where i live so it's not that far but still it's like in a direction i didn't go that often you know what i mean but it was yeah. like a fun like oh we could go to the music shop like yeah. aka the drum shop you know what i mean yeah so there's like there's something there's something fun about about drums and even i don't know it's kind of it's kind of nice to see drums even you know and picture yourself like oh i wish i had that or do this you right. know not like that not like idolizing it but being like i could see myself in that you know and just yeah. And, and talk shop, I think, is a really important thing. Yeah. Um, when you're a drummer, being able to talk about drums with other drummers is awesome it is because awesome. it's Greek to anyone else in your band. Yes, and, it sure is. And uh, you've had some experience playing with two drummers, though. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. That is fun. Let's talk about that. Oh, god. Because I haven't had that. Yeah. Uh, like an active gig, like with when multiple two drummers. Two yeah. Drummers. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing with that is if you have two drummers, no one can have a no one can be um, the one in – maybe in charge is the wrong word. But you can't both be showing off, I guess, mm-hmm. is the thing. So you just have to be able to work really well with someone else. Right. Um, it's really fun to play with two drummers. But yeah. It, but I, it was because I played with people that were easy to play with that that weren't right. huge big show-offs and just trying to take, take everything for themselves. Right. Right, you can't. You, you've got to consider that you're not the only one. Yes. Keeping time and right. and adjust yeah. to that. Did you have Did you have uh, a hard time with that? Like, like, did you lay back and try to jump in after they kind of got things going, or vice versa, or do you switch off the lead? I think we were playing songs. Right. So, yeah, it's just a lot of listening, just to just to make sure that you're not stepping on anyone else's toes. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I saw one of your shows with yeah. that album release show. Right. Um, and you played with a couple different drummers that night. That was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. As a drummer, it's fun to watch multiple drummers yeah. play. It is, it's fun to play with multiple yeah. drummers, too, just because it doesn't happen that often. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's, it's a lot yeah. of fun. It's like watching a left-handed drummer or something I, like that. That's hard. That makes my brain You don't hurt. like that? It hurt, makes my brain hurt. I just think it's such a fresh thing. Yeah, like, yeah. like, I watch it, I'm just like, wow. Like, yeah. It is. I don't. It is. It is stimulating. Yeah. Like it's wild. So yeah. I got. I get being like, whoa. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Let's talk about right. how you first started uh, at drums, etc. Okay. Like, because you are now one of our like five established teachers. Yeah. You've got a full schedule. Yep. Right now, which is awesome. You're killing it. Um, I hope you get a lunch break in there somewhere. But the um, uh, I, you started teaching at the shop before I started working at the shop. Yeah. So I don't know a ton about your first interaction with the drum shop. Okay. 
how that all went down. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll start from the very beginning. Go ahead. Uh, I, your birthday is... My birthday, yeah, no. yes. <laughs> I was born... No. Okay. My very first interaction with the drum shop, I came with a family friend to buy a drum kit for my son, who was six years old at the time. And Sean sold me a Voyager. The same Voyager. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. What foreshadowing so, earlier yeah, in the right. show. So <laughs> um, my son being six years old wasn't all that excited you know, for very long. So then okay. we have this drum kit sitting at my house and uh, I didn't, I don't have, didn't have any musical experience at all. Um, but I think drums are cool. And I thought that I was getting older and I should do something that was good for my brain and instruments, learning an instrument is good. Absolutely. For brain. Yeah, absolutely. And, but I, I don't doubt. also don't want to sit still and like play guitar. Like I didn't want to do that. So I thought I could play drums. Yeah. Um, so I remember coming into the drum store to sign up for drum lessons with Sean. Sean signed me up for my drum lessons. Sean's the man. He is the man. And I had three little kids at the time, mm -hmm. and I just, like, not that much time. And I was like, can I come in every other week? And he's like, no, you have to come in every week. I was like, every week. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. So I signed up for drum lessons um, with Rick Hamilton, and I fell in love with the drums right away playing, which is mm -hmm. surprising because I don't like a ton of things, and I'll quit something if I don't like it. Right. Like immediately. Right. I'm not watching a movie I don't like. I'm not reading books I don't like. Yeah. I'm not doing an activity I don't want to do. Pull the ripcord. Yeah. Yeah. Like right away. <laughs> like this is stupid. I don't wow. like this anyway. But drums. Well, I really we're loved. we're glad to have you in the yeah. drumming community on behalf of us drummers. Well, thank you. I'm glad you chose us. Yeah. <laughs> so I just I loved it right away and I played for I I don't remember when I started teaching. But here's the thing: when I don't remember something, I ask Sean. Do you remember when I started teaching? <laughs> How many? No. no, don't you? You don't remember that? <laughs> I know it was yeah. I remember I, everything. I know it was before 2014 because okay. that's when I showed before up. Before 2014, I started teaching. Um, and that was on recommendation, Rick? I actually, I don't want to think of that. Maybe 2012? Maybe. Was it? 2012? 2012. Okay. okay. So in that time, in that time, yeah. you picked it up and... Yeah, I, I thought, um, I was taking lessons, I think, on a Wednesday... And I thought, I, I, love being, I love being at the drum store. I was like, yeah, I could there teach some lessons. Yeah. I'll teach some yeah. lessons. Um, so, and it's, it's a good way. Teaching is a good way to practice your own stuff anyway. It's yeah. great. I'm all yeah. constantly going, going over things when I'm teaching. So it's like learning. Yeah, putting stuff. in your hours while you're yeah. making money doing it. And... Right, right. Um, so I thought I would start out teaching. I helped with the Special Olympics for a really long time. I thought I'd start out teaching people who had special needs because I really like I still do that with lessons I think everybody learns differently right so you have right. to kind of tailor your lessons to of course yeah the person of course. um so I started that way and then I thought I'd only have a couple lessons like here and there mm -hmm. and then the guys just kept like putting people <laughs> right on my day hey um, that's what so, we do. yeah so uh, I teach a lot of female students um, yeah kids and adults I have some guys too but um, adults are really fun to teach. If there's any adults out there that want to take lessons, it's yeah, it's super fun because they're they recognize the value that they're paying for something, so they might right. Practice. They put time in more. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. They put time in, so it, it's fun. It's fun to watch students get better over time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so you get this teaching gig going. Uh -huh. At this time, are you gigging? Are you playing in bands? At this time, I was playing at church. Okay. Um, which church is a great place to learn to play with For lots sure. of other people and you learn something different each week. Yeah, there's usually decent gear that you don't have to move. Right, it's yeah, there. you don't have to move it. Yeah, so I was playing at church at that time um, and actually one of my students, the way I got into playing in a band was I had a, a student and her dad asked if I was playing with anyone because his mm -hmm. band needed a drummer. And so that's how I started in a band. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. It was, well, it was so scary. No one does when they start anything. No. I still don't know, but now I realize that's okay. But You realize no one else knows what they're <laughs> doing I, either. But I thought to every, a certain level, like, yeah, I thought for sure. everybody knew what they were doing. So uh, there, I spent a couple of years, I think, pretending I knew what I was doing. and just Meanwhile, doing it. Yeah. Internally panicking and just doing what I could. And I would come in to the drum store and be like, what do I do? Like, help yeah. me. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I so mean, I taking had people I could talk to. Right. I was gonna say having an instructor to talk to, mm -hmm. having 
folks at the drum shop to talk to yeah. is important. The drumming community, from my experience, has been nothing but encouraging. Yes. You know, I'm not saying that everyone who's part of the drum community has all of the answers for you. Everyone has their own path and everything like that. But if you're struggling with a specific aspect, if nothing else, you can get input on, hey, how'd you do it? How'd you yeah. deal with this? Yeah. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. So, Definitely. yeah, it's a very, very awesome resource. So you're in an interesting position. Um, well, similar to our other teachers where you not only teach, mm -hmm. but you also gig. You're a gigging teacher, yes. which is the, the term that I've started to coin yeah i wrote it out the other day in one of the posts and i was like all of our teachers are gigging drummers they're actively yes. involved in bands mm -hmm. they're act they've been in the industry for some some amount of time you know what i mean a decent amount of time at least and um they've also i think to, to the best of my knowledge they've all recorded stuff they've all done studio awesome. work of yeah. some degree whether it's home studio or professional studio you know what i mean yeah. so having a teacher having someone as a resource that's done experienced all of these things is is i think extra valuable when you're a student like you were coming into rick and being yeah. like hey how do i do this he had an answer for yeah. you you know yeah. what i mean so you've become this awesome resource what do you get out of each aspect of it do you have would you rather teach all day long or would you rather gig or would you rather record is there something about mm -hmm. yeah. the differences between them that you value differently or no i think they all work together like i don't think there's one that i could pick that I would only want to do exclusively. Um, yeah. Because I can sit in a room by myself and work on stuff in right. books all day long. Well, there's yeah. another, I mean, yeah. practicing. Yeah. You get enjoyment out of practicing. Yes. And I, and I, I think, practice. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love to practice. That's not everyone. That's not me. No. You know that's not me. I know. You should practice. I, I, <laughs> I know. I If I enjoyed it more, yeah. um, I would definitely do put, put in some more time. And I think that that's something that, Probably there's certain certain thresholds that you reach, um, where the, with it developing a particular skill or what what not. Um, when you first start out, you're gonna be terrible, right? You know, and I forget I forget who said it, but um, Sean's always quoting things. Um, uh, practice should never sound good. Uh, if it, that came from somewhere. I that came from somewhere. Yeah, in here it came from it, somebody. It came from somewhere else. Dude. And I, later, <laughs> I later originated it. Originated, like, yeah. It's, it's your yeah, own, yeah. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky, yeah. Michael Scott. Um, I tell that to my students. Yeah. yeah. Practice should it, yeah. it shouldn't sound good because you you're truly working on something right. that you have not mastered yet. You know, yeah. it's not a jam session. It's not yeah. just playing along with music. That's important. Right. That's should be part of your routine. Yeah. But it's practice should not should not necessarily sound good right. and and uh there's a certain frustration when you're first getting started with a skill that you're just you're just like i'm never gonna get this yeah that how do you sense. overcome that first step because initially yeah. it's a little bit deterring it is i think it just takes time i don't think there's any way to rush it to rush getting through learning things and that feeling because mm -hmm. i remember feeling that a lot i would be practicing something or want to learn something and and tell myself, I'll never get this. This I'll never, ever get it. And then suddenly mm -hmm. you get it. You're like, oh, okay. And now I don't think that anymore. Like some things are hard, mm -hmm. um, but I never think I'll never get it. Sometimes I think I don't think I care enough to <laughs> to do this. Right. Yeah. But right. I, I don't think I can't do it. I just think if I care, yeah. if I want to do it enough, I'll, I'll work on it. Yeah. So. Don't worry about that. That's just my phone. <laughs> it's making noise, so I yeah. threw it on the floor. That's okay. It's just a glass screens just that i just chucked on the floor yeah. i tried to slow it down by hitting my shoe but i, I propelled it further into the wall, into the wall. Yeah. so <laughs> we're also gonna have a gofundme um in the description for a new phone screen for me yeah. we're gonna put that no we're not yeah. gonna do that yeah. um so yeah you you're doing all these things at once which is awesome but just quick shout out to the fact that this is not your full-time gig mm -mm. this is like you're you probably consider yourself a hobbyist, which is wild because of the amount of time you put into this teaching, practicing, rehearsing, gigging. Um, and I think that, that a lot of people, um, after listening to the first part of this would probably anticipate be like, Oh, that's her gig. That, like, that's how she does things. She's, she's got all these different elements. She's got teaching. She's got income off this on the side from this, from that. And like, that's what she does, but you're doing this in addition yeah. to a normal job. Right. This is, I, I would consider it a hobby, but it's, I spend every second of my free time. I, right. I, it's drums. It's terrible to admit, but I have probably read like one and a half books in the past decade. 
Because I, I don't have time. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm not playing drums, I'm working or sleeping. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, and, that, and it shows because you're dedicated to your craft and you're great. Really Thank great you. player. Yeah, no, Thank for you. real. It's so awesome fun. to watch you play and, and uh, it's awesome to see you teach and then see you reap the rewards of that and see your your students play yeah. like it's such an awesome cycle that's why it i love the drum cool. shop is you like you see every part of it you see someone walking in looking around like they're lost not knowing anything about drums getting yeah. introduced to it being like this that that and they go through this process mm -hmm. and you started out taking lessons at the shop yeah and then you went through this, that whole process i mean we're always students but you went through that process of getting started buying a drum set for someone else yeah. it ended up becoming yours and became a teacher and then you it's just really yeah. cool it's just really cool. It's just really cool to see the whole process of it. Yeah, um, that's why I love this place so much. It's yeah. Great. It's there's it's there's been a nothing. Big source of joy. Yeah. yeah, the energy is good. It is. The energy is good, and it's mm -hmm. awesome when you become part of that energy because you will contribute towards it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You definitely do. Yeah. Um. So, uh, let's talk about your drums real quick, <laughs> <laughs> because I am just sure. Let's. I talk love. About drums. I love your drums. <laughs> Okay, so the reason that Adam loves my drums is because I only buy his stuff, his used stuff. <laughs> okay, you have one drum set. I have two dr of yours. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I, yeah, I guess I talk about But the other one was because of you. it's the same drum set in a different finish. Yeah. 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 The thing is, I, I don't know that much about gear. I rely on, on you guys to tell me what to do. So I just sort of, you know, whatever... Whatever you recommend. I'm like, sure, that sounds good. So Adam gets a drum kit. I'm like, I'll take the same one in a different color. And then he yeah. goes to sell his, and I'm like, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take sure. that one, too. I'll take both. And now and now you have that. What's which white? Which I have a, a Mapex like? Saturn kit right now. Okay, but it's white. It's a white, yeah. yes. That's it, my next drum kit. A white oyster That's the one I want. finish is really cool looking, yeah. yeah. You All let right. Me, you let me borrow it. Well, that means I need to buy a new drum set. I yeah. think you're giving, you're officially publicly giving me permission to buy to something buy drum, new. Yes, so yes. then, yes. Um, no, I just wanted to touch on that okay. because it's absurd. It's funny. Um, I just like, you know, when a joke, when I laugh a little bit at a joke, I just like to go on and on and, and on. on. Yeah. And, and then after I've said it seven, eight times, yeah. I start to explain why, what I'm doing. Why it's funny. And then while I'm explaining, <laughs> I'm explaining that I'm explaining that. Yeah. All right, let's break the loop. Um, is there anything you'd like to say with, oh, no. to, um, uh, more i almost said i'm not going to use a stupid phrase older people that are getting into drums because oh, adults. um adults yeah. adults and i'm not referencing you by the way you have students that yeah. are like in their yeah. 70s yeah and uh what's that like and what would you say to people that are thinking about it because hmm. it's definitely a different approach yeah i would say if there's anything an adult is thinking about doing trying be it drums or anything else like just do it because you have no idea what's going to happen i didn't expect this i didn't think i had time to take drum lessons for half an hour once a week and right. suddenly it's become this huge part of my life that i can't imagine not have i don't know what i'd be doing with myself it's so much fun so you, do, you just don't know what's going to happen if i could could have looked forward and someone would have told me i'd be sitting here like but anyone right. care what I had right. to say? Right. Um, so yeah, as an as an adult, just you should try things that that you've always wanted to do. Whenever someone s says to me, "I've always wanted to do that," I'm like, "Just do it now." Just do it right now. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And maybe nothing will come from it, but maybe you yeah. do amazing things that you had no idea. You right, and do. it might become your new favorite thing, and it, mm -hmm. it'll or it'll lead you in a relationship to someone else, and something else goes on. But, yeah. But yeah. yeah, I just I just know that there's there's some of your students are very into it. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, like, I wonder if I should have them on the show. I might, maybe, oh, maybe we'll yeah. have them on the show at yeah. some point to be like, not just reaffirm what you're saying, but to yeah. give that, give their yeah. side of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like picking up the drums in your seventies, right? You know, it's a yeah. common thing that happens here yeah. and it's awesome every time it does. And yeah. they're like the most psyched. They're like, like students coming in, um, you know, of that age bracket are more excited than little kids starting out sometimes they are. it's yeah. it's amazing because and it's, find, it's a lot just, of fun you just didn't ever think you would do something like that i think as you get older you don't right. think you're gonna find i think i didn't realize you could find joy like you did when you were a kid like you know when you're learning how to do something new when you're a kid mm -hmm. and you just 
you love it so much. That's how drums felt. And I was just surprised to be an adult and still feel that. I thought it was a kid feeling. Right. But it's not. You can still be happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and learn new things. Yeah. yeah. Even when you're old. Even when you're old. And by the way, if you feel old, you're not old. No. I feel like, no. Yeah. I feel like that's just, um, like, yeah. you're just, I don't know. If you feel old, you're dead. Or no. no. If I said that wrong. <laughs> I said that wrong. I take it back. Okay. <laughs> take it I back. I feel that back. No one should ever feel old. Right. Until they're dead. That's my Perfect. idea. Is yeah. like always be searching that yeah. childlike um, interest mm-hmm. and enjoyment yeah. into, stu- into, into things. Right. Um, so, yeah, we covered a lot of things. Yeah. We don't have a format for this. Okay. But I feel like we've provided value to people of some some I sort. Is there anything so. else you'd like to talk about? Um, I will mention, we'll link it because we can link okay. things. We will link the shop talk session you did. Okay. Um, we had events back in August of 20, was that 22? Yes. August of 22, we had shop talk sessions here where we had conversations kind of like this, except in a yeah. larger format with like an audience that could ask questions during it and that kind of thing. Right. You did an awesome job. I was editing it. I will put that up uh as shortly i think within the next couple of days when we're of when we're recording this okay. so by the time people see this that should either be up or will be up in a couple of days or something um a lot of great information in that um a little bit of crossover but it was just an awesome event and you brought the spirit in the room up so thanks that was fun. yeah thanks for doing that yeah. thanks for doing this yeah um Anytime. at this point normally we will be handing you some merchandise from the drum key podcast however i don't have it yet there's merchandise like there what? there will be well you're gonna have to wait yet well yet. that's the, <laughs> good point no no i have i have some ideas okay. we'll talk about ideas okay. because you're you're definitely more inclined into fashion than i am so we will so you will be getting handed your <laughs> cheetah print drum key Yay. no i don't know what it's gonna be okay. that just seems christy like yes, um but we will we'll be giving you merch okay thank you for being here yeah. 